Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. May peace and blessings of Almighty God be on all of you. On behalf of the Islamic Research Foundation, I welcome all of you to today's program. It is our pleasure and good fortune to have with us today Dr. V. Abdul Rahim, who is the director of the Translation Center at the King Fahad Quran Printing Complex in Medina. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Abdul Rahim. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are happy to have you with us today. Dr. Abdul Rahim has taught Arabic at the Islamic University of Medina for over 25 years. He has authored several books on the subject, including Durus al Lugatul Arabiya, translated as Lessons in Arabic for those who do not know Arabic, for non Arabs. This book is considered to be one of the best books on the subject. Dr. Abdul Rahim is a linguist and knows more than 10 different languages. He was honored in India in the year 1997 with the President's Award for his contribution to the Arabic language. Dr. Abdul Rahim did his graduation in uh, Madras. He did his uh, Bachelor of Arts in, with honors in English language and literature. Thereafter, he did his master's degree in Arabic language and literature from the Muslim University at Aligarh. Thereafter, he did his MPhil as well as his doctorate in Arabic philology, both from the Al Azhar University in Cairo. Today, we will interact with Dr. Abdul Rahim and get to know more about him and his works. Dr. Abdul Rahim, please tell us how you developed an interest in the Arabic language. Was it that you learned Arabic as a child, or did your interest develop uh, later on in life? Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين uh, with regard to your question my interest in arabic language was from the very beginning of my school career as a small boy i was interested in arabic language and i asked my father to provide me with the translation of the Holy Quran in Urdu. When I got this translation, I began to read the Quran along with the translation and began to learn a little bit of Arabic. When I was in the middle school, started learning from Urdu book. It was a very useful book, very good book. It was called Mirqatul Arabiya. It was in three parts. And that was the book that gave me a lot of information about Arabic. And uh, I must uh, state here that my learning of Arabic was entirely private. I did not learn Arabic in a school. I did not go to an Arabic school. It was self-study, which uh, gave me the knowledge that I have of Arabic. When I was at the university level, I got interested in modern Arabic, the language that is being used in Arab countries, the language of culture, the language of literature, the language of daily, day-to-day -day life. And to learn this, I began to read Arabic newspapers and magazines, which I used to get from the Arab embassies. I also listened to radio programs to learn the Arabic accent of the living language. And that's how later on I developed these knowledge that I had acquired during the high school and the college level. I'm sure our viewers would be interested in knowing how you started your career 
and what progress you have made at various points in time. After graduation, I started my career as a teacher at a high school. I worked there for one year. Later on, I moved to the university level. I was teaching for about three or four years, teaching in the Department of English, English Language and Literature. And then there was a, an opening for a position in the Department of Arabic. So because of my love for Arabic, I switched over from English Department of English to the Department of Arabic. And that's where my career as teacher of Arabic uh, started. After a couple of years, I went to Cairo, where I did my MPhil and PhD. And in the year 1966, a new university was started in Sudan. It was called the Islamic University of Umdurman. Umdurman is the twin city with Khartoum, the capital of Sudan. Uh, there I worked for three years. I was the head of the Department of English Language. They wanted a man who can teach English through Arabic. So I somehow fit in there and uh, was teaching English with the medium of Arabic. At the same time, in Khartoum University, which is one of the biggest universities in Sudan, they wanted a teacher for teaching special Arabic. A special Arabic is Arabic taught to non-Arabs. Those who take up Arabic, mm -hmm. students from non-Arab countries. So I was uh, one of the teachers who took part in teaching this special Arabic through English. So I have done teaching English through Arabic and teaching Arabic through English. I stayed at the Islamic University of Umdurman uh, up to 1969. In 1969, I moved to the Islamic University of Medina. And there, we had a problem of students coming to the Islamic University of Medina without knowing Arabic. There were two types of students. Students who had already learned Arabic, those who came from Arabic schools from different parts of the world. And there were also students who had no knowledge of Arabic previously. So for them, we started a course for teaching Arabic, a two-year program. And uh, I was, from the very beginning, associated with this uh, program. Many of the books and material, teaching material, were prepared by me. Mm -hmm. And I got associated with this uh, work of teaching Arabic as a foreign language for about uh, 30 years. Even today, many of the materials uh, most of the materials that I prepared are being used at the Islamic Christian Medina and this particular department of teaching Arabic as a foreign language. And about three years back, I retired from the university and uh, the university mm -hmm. saw that I should uh, be King and King Fahad Quran printing complex because they started center for translation of the Holy Quran in different languages. So that's how I began to work in this uh, new position. Mashallah. Hmm. You have written various books. Would you please tell us the fields in which you have written these books, as well as the circumstances that influenced you mm -hmm. to write these books? Okay. My books fall under two categories. One is Arabic philology. And uh, the other field is the teaching of Arabic to non-Arabs. In the first field, uh, my special subject has been foreign words in Arabic. So there are four books that I have written in this field. The first book is Al-Mu'arab Lil-Jawaliqi is a fifth century of Hijra book that was uh, written by one Abu Mansur al-Jawaliqi, in which he has mentioned about 700 foreign words that are used in the Arabic language. I was able to edit this 